Hello and welcome to the session on Catalon Studio and today we are going to learn about variables and how variables can be used in Catalon Studio. So in Catalon Studio variables can be of three types private, local and global. So let us learn about this. I will go to my Catalon Studio and open a sample test case. Now you can see this is a sample test case uh, where I go to a browser and go to this URL and then enter admin in the username admin123 in the password field and then click on the login button. So here we can use variables in place of these hard coded values and before I show you that let me just go to the script view. So I am going to this script tab here and in the script view if you define any variable for example if I say string name equals automation now this name is a variable but the scope of this variable is only limited to this particular groovy script so this is a private variable and now if you go to the variables tab here so you can see this is a variable tab here you can go here and you can add any number of variables by clicking on this add button so click here add and you can see a new row getting added and here you can give the name so I will give this is a username and here you have the types of variable so you can see there are multiple types of variables and here is one useful link uh, if you want to see the types of variables and get the details about all these types you can go to this link I will provide all these links in the description section of this video and of course this is the link which teaches you about variables in Catalon Studio so this will also be useful okay so now here I have created a variable by the name username and I will give the value as admin so this is what should be used for this particular username the value should be admin and I will click on add again and here I will give the variable name as password and again this is a type of string and say this is I will give the password value here admin123 and now these variables are local variables so these are local so this can be used anywhere in this test case and can be referenced and now I will go to my manual mode back here to the manual mode and here in in the place of this hard coded values I have to replace this with variables that I have just defined so I will double click here and here you can see value type so here I will click and select variable and now if you go to the value column here and double click you will get a drop down and here you should get the list of variables that you have just created and in case you are not getting this make sure that after creating the variable you save and then you will get it here and that's it I will say ok and similarly in place of password I will again use value type as variable and select the variable that I have just defined for password which is this one and that's it and say ok and save it and I can now run this just to verify that the variables are referenced properly so this is uh, running on a Firefox browser let us just wait for this execution yes it's opening the Firefox browser now and going to this URL which is orange HRM demo site and it is adding yes it added actually the username and password which was very fast so maybe it was not very much visible uh, I can also add a wait here so I, I will go to the script view and before actually clicking on the login button I want to wait for a few seconds so I will say web UI dot uh, is there wait yes wait or let me say pause so pause is not there I will say wait or I can use directly I will use thread dot sleep 
and I will say for four seconds okay I'll just run this on a Chrome browser so let us see if this runs properly and we should be able to see the uh, addition of username and password which is taken from a variable and yes Chrome browser is open it goes to the URL and here yes you can see now it is adding the username password waiting for four seconds and then it should click on the login button and yes so there is the home page and now it should close the browser and our test is successful so this was the local variables now in case you want to add global variables so now in Catalon studio you have this profiles and I have already discussed about this in a earlier video on environments so here you can create your variables and whatever you create here will be considered as global variables and then you can copy this to different profiles so you can create a QA environment profile, a dev environment profile, a regression environment profile and so on. So this is something I have already covered in one of the earlier videos which was titled as environment profile so you can watch that. So this was all about variables and using variables in Catalon Studio and uh, here I have given you these two links which will be very useful. You can look at the value types here. So that was all in today's session. Thank you for watching.